I'm Yvonne Lynn, and I will be your noob school teacher. I'm the noob teacher. So chances are, if you like reading, movies, and or critical thinking, you are a fantastic candidate for gaming, and you probably haven't even realized it yet. There are so many of you out there who have decided that you don't like gaming and are not interested in it because you have been presented gaming in an unappealing way, or something that just doesn't make sense to you. Too often, gaming becomes some foreign, frustrating, completely unfun hobby that can alienate you from the ones that you love, you know, who do have a passion for gaming. Sometimes it is simply the way some people organize thoughts or have established ways of doing things that makes them seem like they wouldn't like gaming. If you have post-it notes on the sides of your computer, you're likely the kind of person who has a hard time gaming even if you've tried in the past. This course will help you get over that hump. Or if you have ever had a hard time focusing or doing multitasking, you know, either or, you may have found gaming to be unpleasant. It depends on the games and the types of uh, platforms that you use. It just depends. If you have a hard time relaxing, despite the games that your loved ones play where they're raging all the time, you may be surprised to know that gaming can be immensely freeing and peaceful, even the high energy ones. It is uh, an escape into a world that for just a while, allows you to leave the all-encompassing crap that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can just leave that at the door for a little while. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. That's what's happened. I think we've already seen that, whether it's our parents or, or maybe you yourself. When things became so digital, you saw people going, okay, I'm not going to learn the new way of doing things in the world, so they close the door and they're gone. I guess they'll just wait to die because basically they're completely out of any everything. They can't stay in touch the way we're, we're, we're accustomed to doing it now. And others said, you know what, I know that um, I'm used to a landline, but I'm going to learn how to do cell phones. I'm going to learn how to do apps and all these other things. Well, those people, y'all are perfect to do gaming because it's, it's just this generation coming up right now, everyone will have know how to game. You, if you are um, a parent, you're, and if you're a young parent or a parent of a young, young, young child, they come out of the womb these days knowing everything. They can operate a, a phone and you're like, oh my God, how did you do that? So it's time for you to get off it and learn. You know, if you're a bit older and you've ever wondered in your life, maybe you don't anymore, but you wondered, like looking at the Discovery Channel, and you're like, oh my God, how did they get footage of dinosaurs? I just don't get it. Well, now you know it's CG, but you are a future gamer just waiting to discover uh, these new worlds that you, you weren't even aware of. So yeah, if you find yourself saying, in the good old days, then maybe it's high time you decided to relearn how to have fun, because the good old days are right now, right here, and you just have to claim them. Lastly, if you're a person out there who is dead set against video games, maybe it is because you've never tried them. And no, Solitaire and Candy Crush don't really count here. I challenge you to see and to try for yourself gaming and to see the other side of the argument by having first-hand experience and knowledge. As in almost other, every other aspect in life, too often things that are bashed are simply not understood. Practical, personal awareness of previously unknown experiences often broaden the mind to better evaluation than an outsider who just makes assumptions gathered on limited experience. Gaming is a way to sharpen your mind, keep you young, and benefit you so much more than like just watching TV or some other passive hobby because it's interactive. Above all, if you like sharing your loved one's interests and not being left out of the big part of their life, then you are perfect for this course. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started.